Have you ever wondered how protein and creatine can enhance your body and performance? But you're unsure how they work within the body, what side effects you may have and how much you should be taking. Well today we will take a journey inside the body to find out what really happens when you supplement with protein and creatine for 30 days based on scientific research. But to fully understand what happens, we first need to understand what protein and creatine are and where they come from. Protein is one of the three main macronutrients your body thrives on, alongside carbohydrates and fats. It is composed of 20 types of amino acids and the body can produce them on its own, while others, known as essential amino acids, must be obtained through your diet. When consumed, the body breaks down protein into amino acids, which the liver then rearranges to perform various bodily functions, including building and repairing tissues, supporting the immune system, and serving as enzymes and hormones. Creatine on the other hand, is a molecule that's naturally produced in your body, primarily in the liver, kidneys, and pancreas. You can also obtain creatine from certain foods, particularly meat and fish, or through supplementation. Creatine plays a vital role in energy production by replenishing ATP, the main energy source your body uses to power our muscles through high-intensity activities. It is mostly stored in our muscles, and about 5% is stored in the brain. But what does creatine do to your body? Firstly, you will need to make sure your muscles are fully saturated. This can be achieved in a week if you do a loading phase where you take 20 grams of creatine for a 7 days followed by 5 grams per day thereafter. Or you can opt for a non-loading phase where you just take 5 grams per day which takes 3 to 4 weeks for your muscles to fully saturate. One of the first things you'll notice is an increase in water retention along with a slight increase in body weight. This is because as creatine is taken into your muscle cells, it also draws water into them, which makes your muscles appear fuller. Now when it comes to weight gain, research suggests an initial weight gain of 1 to 3 pounds is common. Once your muscles are fully saturated, your strength will start to increase, and you'll notice the ability to perform more reps with a specific weight. In fact studies found an average 8% boost in strength and a 14% boost in the number of reps you can perform. This is due to creatine elevating phosphocreatine stores which aids in generating new ATP, the energy molecule used by muscle cells. Normally, ATP is depleted after 10 seconds of intense exercise, however, the higher levels of creatine stored in your muscles help sustain a higher performance level for a longer duration. Creatine also helps you recover from intense training, allowing you to get back to training sooner and thus making better progress. One study found 81% of people experienced a faster recovery as one of the benefits they noticed after taking creatine. The great news is that most people enjoy these benefits without any side effects. However, some people may suffer from mild stomach discomfort, usually during the initial loading phase of taking creatine. However, the loading phase is not necessary, as you can get full saturation by simply taking 5 grams of creatine per day. Now, once your muscles are fully saturated, taking more creatine won't give you any extra benefits, so make sure you stick to the recommended dosage. Now what will happen if you also consumed more protein? First off, you'll likely feel less hungry. This is because protein is the most satiating macronutrient meaning it provides a strong sense of fullness and satisfaction after consumption. That's why increasing your protein intake for 30 days will tend to cause you to consume fewer calories, and as a result, you'll lose body fat. For example, in one study, people who were overweight started eating more protein, going from 15% to 30% of their daily calories. Surprisingly, they naturally ended up eating 441 fewer calories each day without even trying to cut back on anything. Another study found that overweight men had a 60% drop in their urge to snack just by increasing their protein intake by 25%. But a reduction in cravings isn't the only reason why you're likely to lose some pounds. Another reason is that your body burns calories when it digests and uses the nutrients, which is called the thermic effect of food. Protein has a higher thermic effect compared to fats or carbs. While fats and carbs have a thermic effect of 5 to 15 percent, protein's thermic effect is higher, ranging from 20 to 35 percent. Simply put, when you eat protein, your body uses 20 to 35 percent of the calories from that protein for energy to digest and process it. This can make a significant difference over time. 
In one study, a high-protein group burned 260 more calories per day than a low-protein group. That's equivalent to about 2.5 pounds of pure fat after 30 days, which equals about one hour of moderate-intensity exercise daily. Another plus is that you'll recover faster after your workouts, and it will certainly contribute to muscle growth. Additionally, you will also experience a boost in energy. This is because protein takes longer to break down in the body, compared to carbs and fats, providing you with more stable blood sugar and a sustained source of energy throughout the day. Increasing your protein can also improve your mood and cognitive function. This happens because the amino acids in protein help make neurotransmitters which regulate our mood and focus. Plus, getting enough protein can make you less likely to get sick because it's good for your immune system. Your body uses protein to make antibodies, which help us fight off infections. If we don't get enough protein, it can be harder for our bodies to make these antibodies, making us more likely to get sick. But there's more. Another good thing you might notice is a drop in blood pressure. Studies found that eating more protein can lower both systolic and diastolic blood pressure by a significant amount. And don't forget about the way you look. Protein helps make collagen, keratin, and melanin, which are essential for healthy skin, hair, and nails. So as you get closer to the end of the 30 days, you will start looking and feeling healthier. It's important to note that while most people don't consume enough protein, it's also possible to consume too much. And any excess protein will unfortunately be broken down and stored as fat. The optimal protein intake for muscle gain can vary among individuals, but a commonly recommended range is 0.6 to 1 gram of protein per pound of body weight. So as you can see, after 30 days you would experience a range of great benefits. If you are searching for high quality supplements, I will leave a link to the best creatine and protein I personally use. Be sure to subscribe if you're looking to get healthier and stronger in 2024 and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.